Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome to bonus episode 2 of Let's Play Stalker Clear Sky. Today we'll be looking at the bandit faction, since we already covered the loners. And as I mentioned at the end of that episode, before we can actually do the faction wars for the bandits, we're going to need to do some quests for them, so we're going to head to the bandit base. Before we can do that, we're going to need Listen, to talk to these to guys, talk. Just put that gun away first. who, as we know, will rob us when we get close to them. Stop right there, buddy. Keep your hands where I can see them. However, if we want to do missions Stay for right bandits, there, we have man. to get by these guys without killing them, which pretty much means paying them. Move, damn it, move! We could also just kind of sprint past them. As long as you don't kill one of them, you won't get the faction penalty. But uh, it's a lot easier to just pay them up. Plus, we don't have a lot of money right now, so we're not losing too much. Alright, so we gotta head over to the bandit base, which we already saw in the last episode. Hey, buddy, put your shooter away and come over here. We need to have a chat. Oh, shut up. So we're just going to grab a vehicle and head over to the bandit base. Seems like a good spot to stop, seeing as there's no trains running anymore. So this is the bandit base, uh, it's Cat a lot got your tongue or what? nicer when we're not being shot at from everywhere. And just like any other base, it's got a merchant, a technician, a barman. Senka and hey buddy, uh, thanks a bunch. Yeah, pour it, Senka. So that's their technician. Uh, as we pointed out, it's kind of weird that the technician specialty is the Seva suit, which is the reward you get from wiping out the bandits for the loners. And over here in this train car is the bandit boss. Who is this pretty boy we got here? What do you want? I'd like to work hmm. for you. Now that you mention it, I do have a job that needs doing. There's a fellow that needs to disappear. If you take the job, I'll make sure he's at the old bus stop. The one beyond the eastern wall. You up for it? No, we just have to kill somebody. That doesn't sound too hard. Gotta go kill String Bean over here. Bring off, quit lacing about. Oh, um. Judging by the PDA signal, String off dead. Good. You can collect your reward from Tooth, the trader. I reckon I can give you tougher jobs from now on. Well, I don't know what happened. String off was feeding me info on the diggers. It seems eventually they caught on, so he's been pretty useless recently. Though some of the latest intel was pretty good. Apparently, the diggers are meeting up with some asshole north of the garbage to buy shooters. Make sure nobody, neither the asshole nor the diggers, makes it out of there alive. I've uploaded the meet coordinates to your PDA. So that's the dynamic world of Stalker for you. Before we could even get the string off to kill him, someone else killed him, and we got the credit for it. Alright, so now we gotta go kill two different groups of people. Hopefully, uh, some of them survive for us to get there, because otherwise our job's a little too easy. Though we'll make the episode nice and short. Alright, where are we heading? Gotta head... up here. Just want to turn up. Oh shit, the engine died. This car cannot deal with these train tracks. Alright, spin around. Oh god. These cars are awful. But I guess that makes sense if they've just been laying around the zone, supposedly. Alright, so these guys should be just over this hill. I'm not sure if I want to try. Actually, yeah, let's try running over one of them. Just for giggles. Hey, buddy. Oh, God. They stopped my momentum. Okay, that didn't go well. Guys are dumb. And tried to go all firing squad on my car. They all it then. Great job. You can pick up 
your reward from Tooth. By the way, you're moving up the ranks. I'm putting you in charge of five of my boys, and I already got your lot. I want the diggers to forget even thinking about armed resistance. So I need you and your boys to show them who's boss. Your target is the flea market. Once you're done with the diggers, make sure our boys secure the area. And don't let anyone in. Your team is already in position, but they won't do shit without your command. So look at that, the bandits are even giving us guys under our command. Just because we did two missions for them. Nobody else will trust us with guys. Also forgot to mention our loadout. Uh, it's not really that special, that's kind of why I didn't mention it. Going through the bandit arsenal, we didn't really have a lot of choices since the bandits have a lot of shitty weapons. Uh, so we just went with the basic stalker suit, which, you know, the bandits use a brown one, but you can't get the brown one. And the AK-74 upgraded with a scope, and uh, I stuck a silencer on it too. And then our Beretta 92. Plus we got a shotgun for backup. Nothing too fancy, but then again, we're bandits don't really have a lot of fancy gear. Once we get to the duty and freedom episodes, we'll have a lot better stuff to play around with. Alright, so we gotta get over to that flea market area. And sort of ambush the guys from inside the building. Our guys will be waiting on the outside, and once they start shooting, we can just kind of slip up there unnoticed and kill everyone. Since we're not enemies with them yet. Alright, our guys are already shooting. Oh no, what's going on, guys? Is someone attacking? What a shame. I don't even think they'd notice because I'm using a silence gun. Oh, now they notice. There's still one guy down here. Oh, one of our guys. There he is. That's everybody. Oh, and this guy just fell over. There you go, buddy. Take care of my men. Oh. oh shit, I think those are duty guys I just killed. Got them all. Get some vodka in here. We're gonna have ourselves a funeral bank. For un some inexplicable reason, all the bandits say things like bro. I don't really know why. Alright, do we get it? Yep, now we just gotta head back. Well, that was pretty easy. Flea market? You're a man's man, buddy. I'm coming from yoga? That's something. High five! As usual, Tooth's got your gun. Make money, get paid. Every time I see this, you know, holding the pistol with two hands while driving, I just imagine he's driving with his knees. What do you got for us, Tooth? So, got some looks? Got some That's some beauty. Thousand bucks. Oh, thousand rubles. 
nice doing business. Alright, we're gonna go up to the bandit leader and demand he pay us more. Hey, dickhead, where's Who our cash? This pretty Alright, so now we've done all the missions we need. He'll say, Travel the zone a bit while I run some background checks on you. This basically means that we have to get farther so into the uh, nice main day. quest before we can join the bandits because otherwise it would be extremely difficult to complete since the people we need to talk to would shoot us on sight. So we have to go ahead to the duty base and do the Agripom underground mission before we can actually come back here and join these guys. So I'm going to skip all that, of course, because, you know, you've seen me play through that part of the game already. And uh, we'll come back when I am ready to join the bandits. So I'll see you on the other side. Alright, so I'm just going to cut to this quickly. Uh, I'm doing the underground mission right now, and, you know, last time we did this in the main story, we got ambushed by these guys, but since we've done some missions for the bandits and haven't killed any of them, uh, these guys are neutral. So we don't have to deal with shooting guys down here. Makes the mission a little easier. One of the few places where joining the bandit faction actually benefits you instead of, you know, having everyone shoot at you. Just wanted to add that in. Alright, the Agrabomb underground has been cleared, and we should be able to join the bandit faction now. Alright, Yoga, what you got for us? Alright, so we shoot everybody, just to, to milk money out of them. We don't actually kill them, you know, just shoot them in the knees. Gives us a shit ton of grenades for joining them. That was time well spent. And now we just have to, uh, well, do everything we did in the loner episode in reverse. We have to take over, uh, where is it? I'm looking at the wrong side, that's why. We have to take over this. We got it. Oh, well, we already hold all those. Well, that's good. We have to take over this, and this, and then destroy this, which is the loner base. Also, we're now enemies with all of the loners, which means a pretty good population of the game now hates us. But that's okay. So now we're going to go over and capture the cord, and I think I'm going to cut that out because, you know, we already did it from the other side, and it's not really any more interesting than it was there. So, yeah, I'll see you once we've captured those, and hopefully the squads don't horribly break and make you this unfinishable. Morons, what are you doing? Stalkers have got control over the road to the Gordon. You want them to carry artifacts out of here just like that or something? I want you to get over there and recapture that damn road. Alright, so I guess we lost our uh, base, but anyway, I'm gonna go deal with that. I'll see you guys uh, when the business is done. Well, alright. I had to completely restart the faction wars, as well as all the preliminary quests before that. But, we finally got the bandits down here into the court. Hopefully, a squad will show up to capture this last point when we go uh, kill everyone there. But, uh, we'll see how that works out. I think I finally figured out what was causing the faction wars to break, and it wasn't actually a clear sky problem. It was a clear sky complete problem, specifically the teleports. Uh, basically, whenever you use the sort of built-in teleport system to get somewhere faster, it creates a loading zone to that area in the spot where you teleported from, and if you teleported somewhere, you know, near one of the faction points, the bandit squads, or whatever squads, would just go and stand by the teleport because they can't actually use it, but they know it's there. And I believe this may have been what was causing faction war problems. However, I'm unsure because the, as I said before, the faction wars are pretty buggy. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have a stalker squad coming up on us here. Don't see them. Oh, they're still a bit farther away. That's why. Coming over that hill. It's just one guy. Doesn't seem like a very good squad. 
Now let's spare him the trouble of having to walk all the way over to the bandit outpost to get killed. Hey buddy, what you doing? Okay, he was not alone, he was just uh, very eager to get ahead of the group. Last guy run off too. What are you shooting me with a shotgun? Oh, he was just shooting one shot with a pistol. What a fool. Normally I wouldn't recommend you ever try to pull a knife on somebody in this unless you completely run out of ammo. But uh When you get good at it, you kinda get a feel for whether an enemy is going to be able to shoot you to death before you can get to him. In Shadow of Chernobyl, there's actually uh, one of the arena fights is you with a knife and nothing else versus a guy in an exosuit. Okay, that's. Don't want to walk into any of these. Alright, so that's their main base there, as I said. But we actually have to go past it to get to the encampment in Tro. Tro. Trough? Whatever, the encampment in this little valley over here. Did I get turned around? No? Oh, okay. I got confused because of that tunnel. I thought it was farther away. So I should be able to actually come up behind these guys. Okay, well, they're not looking the way they're supposed to be looking. They might not actually know exactly where I am yet, because I'm using a silencer. Otherwise, they'd probably be shooting at me by now. I can't hide behind a tree for. Got a present for you. Oh, that did not shake him up at all. Okay, he died somehow. Maybe the grenade did kill him. And now we have to wait for the bandits to show up and capture. Uh, let's see here. We've got one squad here. One squad here. What are they doing? Yeah, okay. Boys, we they actually are moving the right way. That's for sure. The cordon is ours now. And we'll make sure the stalkers share their wealth with us for being here. Now squeeze them so hard they don't even stick their noses out of their base. Alright, so... Uh... I guess we technically captured this, even though no one has showed up yet? Oh, well, there's a squad in transit to capture it, so... Yeah, I guess we just move on the base now. Uh, da -da -da, yep. Stalker base... Well, that actually worked way better than usual. Why is there a tire there? I thought we'd have to stand around for 20 minutes waiting for them to walk over here. Hopefully we can just clean this place out and not have to do this shit anymore. I'm really tired of these faction wars. And we still have two more to go! Yay! Uh. What happened? Come in. Do you read me? Commander, look out! Oh man, he did a front flip. That's pretty acrobatic in death. And nobody else cares, they're just like, oh, uh, we're just going to run away. Now there's nine guys in here. It's actually less than last time I tried to do this, oddly. I should be using people killer rounds for this. Switch to my armor piercing. Don't have a lot, but... Shit, grenade! Uh, 
Okay, there's two guys in there with exosuits. So it's a good thing I switched to the uh, armor piercing. That guy's definitely using a shotgun, which seems kind of silly for an exosuit. Just shot that guy in the knee so many times he died. Okay, that took a lot of my health. I think that's both the exosuits down. Which leaves. It says there's only one guy, but there's definitely like three guys over there. Unless they just bled out and died here. Where did this guy go? I say we put some dough together, say goodbye to this guys, zone, and send a postcard from Rio. Anyone alive? Respond. Oh, I haven't seen anything this drop for a while. Drop by sometime, and we'll give you something for your trap. Yeah, this guy had a VSS, and he didn't kill me somehow. Alright, so, we have captured the uh, stalker base. Now we just gotta see what our reward is. We're not actually gonna go back and get it again. Uh, what do you have for us, Mr. Yoga? Alright, we actually got something pretty nice out of that, so I think I'm gonna go back and grab that just to, uh, demonstrate it. And we came back just in time for an omission. Great. Though this is actually one of the places you can take shelter from it, despite all of the big openings. Ah, damn it. <laughs> the merchant actually ran off to take cover, so we can't actually uh, get our reward until he comes back. So I guess, uh, I guess I'll just stand here for 30 in-game minutes and uh, wait out the emission. Or we could do this. Do do do. Speed up time. And then, unfortunately, doing that will not cause the emission to occur faster. You have to wait for the time to go down, and then reset it to normal, and then the emission will go off. I guess all you need to take cover from an emission is some thin metal walls with holes in them. You can see here the uh, crows that fall out of the air every time an emission happens. It's kind of neat, but you usually don't get a very good view on it. Alright, merchant. I think the merchant actually just disappears during an emission to ensure that he doesn't die, because... There's no way to, for him to actually get out of there. Uh, what can you... We got something for me? Alright, so we got $30,000, which is kind of nice. Some grenades, some ammo, a G36, and an RG6. The RG6 is pretty hard to get. I think there's only three in the game you can get, and this is one of them. Uh, one of the other ones was that uh, underground area in Red Forest with the two unkillable uh, poltergeists that could kill you with one box throw. There was one down there. Uh, we didn't get it because it's fucking impossible to get. And can get thrown around by the poltergeists, making it even harder to find than it is by default. So, I'm just gonna show off this one here. It's a six barrel grenade, er, not six barrel, a six uh, shot revolving grenade launcher. It's pretty nice. Uh, it uses the same rifle grenades as the uh, NATO guns. 
Yeah, you just boop. I don't know if it's really uh, worth carrying though, because of the extra weight. I mean, a rifle grenade launcher is about as good as this. I mean, same grenades, same distance you can launch them. Only difference is you can launch six before you have to reload. I think these guys are bandits, but because I drove past them, they told me to stop. They're now permanently my enemies. And of course, the reload is just as slow as it is for the individual grenades. I don't know, these aren't bandits, these are duty members, aren't they? Yep. Now ah, we're done with this save anyway. We, we got our reward. Finish our bandit faction wars. So, uh, I've been Shadefire, and this was Stalker Clear Sky Faction Wars. Bandit Edition. It's a really terrible name. Way too many words. Anyhow, I'll see you next time. Uh, I think we'll probably have another regular episode after this. So yeah, that was, uh, that was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, see you guys. Hello everyone, Shadefire here, What's and welcome to bonus episode on, 2 of Let's beans. Play Stalker. But <laughs> Ruining my episode title.